Hallelujah. Oh, it's not about being the boss. It's about leading you into your future. Yeah, that's our real leader. So David had to master being a shepherd because he was not, God was not going to release him into the office of a king without first mastering how to be a shepherd. That's why pastors are called shepherds. It's not about just bossing people around. Now, yes, they do give directives. Yes, they must give correction. Yes, they must give reproof and rebuke as the Lord leads. But at the, at the end of the day, a shepherd, a pastor must guide. So if you're in the same place you've been in from when that pastor started or when you got there, and it's five years later, it's ten years later, it's fifteen years later, and you're still in the same position, that pastor has not done the job. I do not fault the people. I fault the leadership. Because as a leader, your job is to take everybody that's under your watch and lead them into greater. They cannot remain at level one. Now that doesn't mean that everybody under your leadership become a leader. Because there are some people who are meant to remain number two. There are some people that are meant to be followers. If you ain't got no followers, who you gonna lead? There's some people who are not leaders. But you got to see the value in followership. My wife taught me that term. Can I carry the vision? I don't have to lead the vision, but can I get under the leadership and support the vision? Because that's just as valuable as who's leading. Well, brothers and sisters, I didn't mean to plow there too long, but this is the reality for David. David was in the field tending the sheep, and God says, that's the one.